Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Welcome to a new video I'm sorry I've been away for a while But I'm back now And inshallah I'll, I'll do my best To upload Or to post A new video with a new topic Or more detailed version Of a previous video Previous topic And I don't know why I keep looking there The camera is there Today's topic it's a topic that I like very much. It's a very important one. As always, it is tawakkul. Trust, putting your trust in or relying on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Of course, that is who we are relying on. What I wanted to mention is it's really uh, strange, but oftentimes we tend to have that backwards we got that backwards of course we do believe in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we put our trust in him but it seems a lot of times uh, and it's due to shaitan of course uh, that we rely on our ability on other sources other people other things try to do our best then we you know say we put our trust in Allah. There's this strange saying that says, do your best and leave the rest to Allah. No. Leave everything to Allah in the first place and you are required to do your best at all times in everything you do. So it's simple, but we always forget. Uh, whatever you want to do in life, whatever, whether you want to work, whether you want to get a better job, a better education, uh, start a family, raise good children, taking care of your health or being healthy, what, whatever it is. We should completely put our trust in Allah in every aspect of our lives and then do our best, you know? Although it goes hand in hand, you're simultaneously putting your trust in Allah and doing your best. But we should not rely on, on our abilities um, alone because who gave us our abilities in the first place let's say you want to get a uh, your dream job what would you do you would first maybe study for it go to school take the education that's needed maybe take a course that's required and then when you have when you have done that you would go and look for the experience that's needed you would fill out job applications write a beautiful cv you would get all the help that you need and then you would apply for the job and so on um, that's all well and good if that is not written for you for you to get that position that that job that you wanted if it's not in your books and you will not get it but if you in the first place ask for Allah's blessing, if you put all your trust in Allah in that job search of yours and 100% believe in the fact that he would not let you down, then you have nothing to fear. You will know that whatever you do, you will, you will get what's best for you. And the thing is, you would, when you do all those things, Maybe you get it, maybe you don't. If you get it, you will say, yay, and think that you got that position because of your hard work. No, mate, that's not the case. Maybe it has something to do with it, but it has mostly to do with because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has willed it. What if you don't get it? When you don't get it, you would be so crushed. This is the sad part. A lot of us, when we don't get what we want or what we worked hard for because we relied on our abilities, um, 100% so when we don't get it we become so sad and we get disappointed but here's the good news if you in the first place put all your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and believe that he has the best plan you will not worry about the outcome that's the beauty of it there's this hadith al-qudsi that is so beautiful that um, and Sheikh Muhammad Mutwalla Sha'rawi talks about it in a really engaging way. I, oh, every time I watch that video, it's amazing and, and I recommend that. If you just search it up on YouTube or anywhere, it will come up. Um, that 
is a powerful hadith. It's talking about what, what we are supposed to do in life. We shouldn't worry about rizq, sustenance. We shouldn't rely on our um, efforts alone because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised our rizq. I like to think of rizq as in, in anything. Rizq, um, like provision. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides for us in all aspects of our life. He provides us with good health. He provides us with happiness, family, children, wealth. Alhamdulillah. So search it up. I'm sure it's a lot of people have posted that video. I received it on WhatsApp, but I'm sure it's on YouTube as well. I have seen it on YouTube as well. So look it up and let's not get the relying on the trusting and the tawakkul um, backwards. Let's not rely on ourselves and then rely on Allah. Let's rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 100% at all times and do our best. I hope that makes sense and inshallah ta'ala may Allah be pleased with us and may he provide us with all the things that are good for us that he knows may he help us all the time remember to put our reliance on him assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and thank you for watching